This morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the results of the USDA crop report. Some people had feared the report is basically a yawner, and the USDA really didn't make a lot of changes. You know, right now we've got wheat down a penny, corn up a penny, and soybeans prices are about unchanged. So, as far as last year's corn crop, 13,692, it's up a little bit from their November number, but below, but above the USDA, above the average trade guess. Beans, same thing, 3558. Trade was looking for 3512. And uh, November was 3550. As far as the um, carryouts are concerned, for wheat, 965 versus 974. Corn, 1892 versus 1910. And beans, they left unchanged at 475. Uh, the trade was looking for 424. As far as DS1 stocks are concerned, uh, wheat 1834, uh, that's lower than the 1917 the trade was looking for. Corn 11389, uh, also below the 115 that the um, trade was looking for. But beans were 3252, that's up from the 3186 that the government uh, that the average trade guess was. As far as next year's U.S. Um, winter wheat acres 30.8. The trade was looking for 30.7. Hard red runner wheat, 21.8 versus 22.4 last year. Soft red, 5.64 versus 5.2. And white, 3.37 versus 3.5 last year. So again, I think the market's going to have to kind of work in this trading range uh, until we know more about the trade deal. Um, I still think that quarterly rallies uh, this quarter in corn, beans, and wheat should be sold. And um, if there is a bounce, farmers should take advantage and sell cash. Certainly the option volatility is very cheap and sometime around March, uh, end of March or early April, uh, they can start buying some uh, cheap calls to protect against uh, a rally in 2020 in case the weather is less than ideal. It was interesting that before the report came out, the stock market broke, uh, the dollar broke, um, the bonds uh, rallied, um, the gold rallied, all uh, after the U.S. Uh, increased sanctions against Iran, maybe raising a little bit the um, <clears throat> conflict between the two countries. As always, these are my thoughts, not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day.